This buoy right here! Everybody on your marks. Get set. And they're off. As you can see, paddle season is in full swing on Sprout Lake. It's an ideal place because having the lake, it's fresh water, it's calm, there aren't currents like in the ocean, and these racers are, are warming up for 70 kilometer races in Hawaii, so it's nice that they have this area to practice in as a warm up. That's right, outrigger races are known for their intensity, their fast pace, and their long distances. It's like a three to four hour race, so you've got a lot of time to think about stuff. Uh, mostly it's just trying to stay focused on uh, the actual race itself. Um, I'm a stroke seat, so I'm at the front of the boat, so I set the pace and stuff like that. Um, so my mind is mostly on just making sure that I'm doing what's right for my crew behind me and uh, making sure that everyone's uh, you know working together and that we're uh, having a good time together. But this isn't your average everyday paddle. This is a change race where paddlers literally jump in the lake while the boat is still moving. We try to keep people fresh. We try to change out three people at a time. Depends whatever timings you do, 15, 20 minutes, whatever. Uh, and it just gives us a fresh push again, keeps us, keeps everybody fresh, gets people back in the boat, gets them energized, gets some water. So you've got uh, nine guys in your uh, team anyway. So six in the canoe, three in an escort boat, and uh, you switch uh, on and off for uh, about 15 minutes each time, uh, up to half an hour, and uh, you just kind of compete in a long distance event uh, with just a bunch of changes. As you can tell, our cameras couldn't get too close to the racers due to safety concerns. But you can still see from a distance how much athletic ability this sport requires competitive for sure. Uh, you have to be committed to your practices, your time on the water, uh, doing the distances. We do in preparation for this, we start doing 20, 25 kilometer practice pieces. We're on the water three days a week, plus gym time. It's great to watch. Uh, you wouldn't catch me doing 42 kilometer races, but uh, just to be involved today and, and watch them race is a great opportunity. Inch by inch, paddle after paddle. The passion these athletes display for their sport really shines through. I've been paddling for a long time now, about uh, about 13 years, um, and uh, you know, mostly for me, it's just about being outdoors, being active, fit. Uh, I love the water. I've been around water my entire life, living on the island, right? So, uh, I was a swimmer, paddler, all that kind of stuff. And as far as who exactly won this chain race on Sprout Lake. Anybody that completes long distance paddling at this level is definitely winning in my book. For Go, on Shaw TV, I'm Jenny Fortin.